Hello, and welcome to Nextstar's video series on the Salesforce Developer Workbooks. In this track, we'll be walking you through the Cloudflow Designer Workbook. This video covers Tutorial 2, Creating a Sustainability Survey. So let's start by adding a screen element to capture the user's region. We'll go to Setup, Create, and we'll go to Workflow and Approvals, and then to Flows, and then we'll click New Flow. And once the Cloudflow Designer opens up, on the left we'll uh, drag a screen element from the palette to the canvas, and then we'll name the screen element Welcome to the Sustainability Survey. We can press Tab to autocomplete, and we'll add a field, we'll add a display text field, and we'll have to name it, and we can make this survey intro. And now I've cheated and copied all the text from the workbook. You can do the same or type it in. Just make sure it looks like that. And then we're going to add another field. This will be a choice, which will be a radio button. Let's name it in which region do you work. And then we'll add a few choices. So let's go to select resource, create new choice. And we are going to name this Americas. And then for the stored value, we're also going to put in Americas. And let's go ahead and add another choice. And we'll make this one EMEA. And then take a look at your screen and make sure it looks like mine. Then press OK. Now let's add and configure a decision element. A decision element allows us to evaluate a set of conditions and route users through the flow based upon the outcomes of the conditions. This is best seen by an example, so let's drag a decision element onto the canvas underneath the screen element. Now we'll want to name the decision element. Let's name this route based on region. And then in the outcome section, for name, let's type region colon Americas. Under the resource field, let's expand the choices section and then select Americas. Under the operator area, we'll select was selected. And then for the value, select global constant, global constant true. And then we'll go to the default outcome and just type in region colon EMEA. Okay, and just verify that we have all the correct information. Make sure your screen looks like mine. And then once it does, press OK. And now connect the screen element to the decision element. Now that we have two outcomes for our decision element, let's add a screen element for the Americas option. We can do this by going to the palette on the left and dragging the screen element onto the canvas underneath the decision. And now let's name the screen element Office and Commute Days. This time we're actually going to change the unique name to Get Office and Commute Days Americas so that way it doesn't conflict with the EMEA screen. And now let's add a field. We'll go to the Choices section and this time we're actually going to drag the radio buttons across. Select the radio buttons and change the label to Office Location. We'll also change the unique name to Office Location Americas. And then let's add a few choices. We'll go down to create new choice and then we'll type in San Francisco. And for the stored value, let's just put in SF and press OK. Now let's add another choice. This time we'll add New York and for the stored value, we'll just put NY. And finally, let's add one more. We'll add Washington, D.C. And then for the stored value, we'll put in D.C. And 
Okay, now let's add another field. This time we'll go to the input section and select a text box. And under the label, let's add how many days a week do you commute to work? We want to change the unique name to Number of Days Americas. And then verify your screen looks like mine. And now what we'll do is we'll actually connect the decision element to the screen. You'll see when we do this, the decision routing will pop up. We select Region Americas and press OK. Now that we've created the screen element for the Americas choice path, let's add a screen element for the EMEA option. So I'll drag the screen element from the palette on the left to the canvas. Let's label the screen Office and Commute Days. And we're basically going to follow the same steps as we did for the Americas. Now we'll change a unique name to Get Office and Commute Days EMEA. We'll add a field. We'll go down to the Choices section and select Radio Buttons. We will change the label to Office Location. We'll set the unique name to Office Location EMEA. And then we'll add three choices. The first one will be UK colon London. And we'll set the stored value to UK. And we'll add two more. For this one, we'll make it France colon Paris. And the stored value here will be FR. And finally, we'll add one more. This one will be Spain colon Madrid. And the stored value will be SP. Once we're done with that, we'll add one more field. It'll be a text box. And the label will be, how many days do you commute to work? We'll change the unique name to number of days EMEA. And then verify your screen looks like mine. And then once it does, press OK. And now we're going to drag an arrow from the decision element to the screen. And now that we can kind of see everything visually, you'll see how the decision element allows our program to take paths based upon the input, whether it's Americas or EMEA. Now we'll want to collect some commute information. So let's drag a screen below our previous steps. We'll label the screen Detailed Commute Information. And let's set the unique name to Get Detailed Commute Information and then we'll add a few fields. Let's add three text boxes. Select the first one and then we'll label it how long is your commute round trip? Then we'll change the unique name to distance. Then we're going to do something a little bit different. We're actually going to add help text. So we'll select help text and we'll put in enter the distance in miles. And we'll select the second text box. We'll label this one, how long does your commute take round trip? We'll change the unique name to time. And then we'll also set the help text to enter the time in hours. Then finally, we'll take care of the last text box. We'll enter the label as how much do you spend on your commute every month. We'll change the unique name to cost. And we'll add the help text, enter the amount in your local currency.
and then verify your screen looks like mine and press OK and then connect the screen elements to the new screen element that you just created. Now let's get a little bit more information from the user. Let's collect their email address by grabbing a screen once again and putting on the canvas. We'll set the label to enter your email for raffle. And we'll change the unique name to get email for raffle. And once we've done that, we'll add a field. Let's add a display text field. And then for the unique name, we'll set that to email header. And then in the text box, we'll enter, enter your email address for the chance to win a $250 gift card. And let's select uh, add a field again. Well, this time we'll select a text box. But the label will put email address. And then just verify that your screen looks like mine and then press OK. And then we'll want to drag an arrow from the previous element to that new screen element. And finally, let's thank our users for taking the survey. We'll drag a screen element one more time. We'll set the name to thank you. We'll change the unique name to summary and finish. We'll add a field. That field will be of display text type. We'll go ahead and set the unique name to summary. And in the text box, we'll type in thank you for participating in the survey. And then verify your screen looks like mine and press OK. And now we'll connect the screen element We'll scroll up to the top and select the starting element by pressing that little green button. And then we'll save the flow. And let's name it Sustainability Survey. And then if you'd like, you can put in a description. We'll press OK. And now what we'll do is we'll run the flow and see if our decision element works. So let's select the Americas. And then we should see the American cities. Yes, we do. So that worked. Now you've created your second flow. And really the key takeaway here is to realize how powerful the decision elements are. In our next tutorial, we'll be creating a mortgage calculator with the Cloudflow Designer. Thank you for joining us. Click to follow us on YouTube for more great content.